stage review um this one again so since my open stage is not happening anymore i'm kind of going around town and scouting out the other open stages that are around and kind of see what's what's active what's happening who's doing what and kind of give you my first impressions of them so um this one i know is active is still active here in january of 2023 and it is the cider mill um so this is in southwest portland off capitol highway um, it's sort of near Multnomah Village. It's actually kind of my neck of the woods. So, you know, it's sort of my my closest neighborhood open stage anyway. Um, so let's start in with kind of like the venue and the um, atmosphere. So it's, it's a bar. It's a fried chicken place in a bar. And um, I don't drink, so I can't tell you too much about <laughs> the quality of the bar. But... You know, it's it's got kind of a divey atmosphere, but um, but nice neighborhood kind of kind of vibe. Um, the open stage occurs in sort of a back room uh, where there's also pool tables and then some tables to sit. And the stage itself is kind of tucked in a, a strange little corner, but. Certainly, the places you can sit down and, and, and watch what's going on, uh, but it's away from the 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 main thin room where the actual bar and most of the patrons end up being, kind of on the way to the patios. Kind of an odd layout. Uh, the venue has music, or has had music historically. Um, but I don't think that this accurately can be said to be like a stepping stone, really, because the music that the venue has tends to be um, bigger name cover bands in the area. Uh, so I don't think that they're really like drawing people from the open stage uh, per se, although certainly anytime you get into a place where you can actually like impress a network, you can you know, carve out your own opportunity, but, um, for the typical open stage player, this is a dead end is in my estimation from that vantage point. Um, benefits. So sound, general sound quality benefit. So it's hosted by two people. Um, one of whom kind of manages the sound and the other kind of manages the, the show, the schedule, the acts. Um, sound is generally, decent if you want to bring your own mic you can um i did i would recommend that um i think that the the mics were i mean i, I can't remember uh, but I, I might take that back i think the mics were kind of typical like sm58 something like that um i just have a mic i prefer and was able to do that which is nice um general sound quality is okay PA is not great, and the sound is not fantastic, though they're doing a decent job of getting it dialed in. It's not, like, problematic, but it's also, like, it's not a special sound. And part of that's the acoustics of the room and kind of where it's set up. Um, one of the things that is kind of a special extra is that if you are someone who, you know, there's, like, a house amp um a pretty a pretty decent there might even be two there's a kind of decent house backline for an amp if you are an electric guitar player um there's an opportunity for you to just walk in plug in and have it happen which is um not always the case obviously uh nonetheless this is probably best suited for and most in tune with the sort of acoustic singer songwriter vibe so if you've you know that that's probably who this is mostly meant for um i hesitate to say the next part just because it's kind of not in my nature to be too critical but I, i'm going to say this because it 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 definitely stuck with me and it would be my hesitation my one real hesitation and it could just be a one-time thing but so take it with a grain of salt but this is what i i, I would i'd 
I'd be remiss if I didn't mention this. I felt like when I was there, the host is a nice, uh, the host who does like, who manages the, the list. And the, the format here is like a three song thing. It's like three songs and then you might come back up for more at the end. Like they did a, a good job of like rotating through you know, the time management of making sure that, hey, the time belongs to the players and uh, the whole idea of coming back up instead of just stretching it out. They did a good job with that. The time management was well done, uh, was well managed. Um, I would offer, and it is it is what it is. I felt like the host who is sort of occupying the MC role um, was at times inappropriate, um, mostly inappropriate with his jokes. Um, if I were, especially if I were uh, a female player, I, I might have been made un, uh, made a little uncomfortable by some of the stuff that he was saying. And I don't, I can't remember specifics, just that that was my impression at the time is that I didn't, I didn't care for, for that part. Um, and I don't want these reviews to be like catty or, you know, nasty or finding, finding, finding fault. But to me specifically, that, that was kind of an important thing to mention. Um, I wish it weren't so, but that's how I felt about it. And maybe again, maybe that's just that night, but that's something to, to keep in mind if you are uh, a player who's going there is that it can be a little a little raw, I felt. Uh, in any event, that's the cider mill. I'd say that in every other respect, it's a decent one. It's not... Um, I feel like there are there are some better run ones, but this is this is a pretty good one in most respects. Like, it's decent. It's on Wednesdays. Um, and it's still active. So... Um, Mixed feelings about it. Mixed review. Don't know if I wholeheartedly recommend it, but I also don't uh, don't necessarily um, don't wouldn't necessarily caution you too much against it, other than the thing I mentioned. All right. So, till next time. See you at the open stage.